Yo, let's get this Pixelmon trend down. 100 days, I'm hopping on it. But before we can get into that, 60% of you are not subscribed. You know, go down below, hit that little bell icon, and uh, just subscribe. It'll uh, help out. You could, you know, just wait until the video's over, and then you can decide if you want to subscribe. All right, let's get this going. Loading up, loading up. All right, it's time. Uh, I don't know who I'm gonna choose. It was a tough choice between the plant with an ass on its forehead or the, the f***ing green turd. What the f*** is this? But my grandma always told me the saying to go with the prettiest ugly thing instead of the ugliest pretty thing. So that's what I went for. Now it's the first day and me and my butt friend doing butt things. Pause. Pause on that. Super mega pause. It's the first day and all I've really got into is just exploring a little bit. I was grabbing all the berries I could find. Uh, I didn't really use them at the end, so there was really no point for me grabbing them, but uh, it was fun. I mean, I don't really know what this is. Like, the, the, the fuck? Never seen this in my life. Pokemon never had this. I'll be tripping or something. God damn. Since the Plains Biome is like the brain dead place to build anything because it's just so flat and like compared to everything else, you don't really need any creativity to like make anything cool out of this you know cool area and i'm a bum like that so uh here i am building in planes which which is like a di this is a different type of planes there's a little mountain it's kind of cool you know so i got a little pizzazz just a little bit you know maybe there's some sus in me so i started to mine a bit and i actually found a mine shaft like i was looking for iron at first because you know i want some iron gear you know you'd really need it for uh for for armor and stuff because you really need it for the pokeballs but i wanted some armor so i got some iron but then I found a freaking mine shaft. Oh my god! Found my first diamond in there. It was great. It was it, it, amazing. Like, who the fuck finds a mine shaft? No, oh, wow. Around day day, I was trying to figure out if I should build a house now or wait a little longer. But I was like, you know what, man? Just fuck it. If it comes out ugly, I could fix it later. And I did because it did not come out very good. It was an alright house. Like it was a basic house, but it, it wasn't like up to the standard I wanted it to be. But, you know, it was a pretty good house. It was a pretty good house. And I made a PC. I healed my Pokemon. And I also started to make Pokeballs. Because, you know, I, I wanted to catch some new Pokemon. And I did. I caught new Pokemon. Electric, Zubat, and Ponita. So, you know, there you go. Something I could never wrap my head around in Pixelmon was the evolving animation. I know it doesn't have to be perfect, but it looks like something from that, you know, old 90s movie, Sharp Point Lava Girl. I loved it as a kid, and you probably did too. But rewatch it and you'll see how terrible. <laughs> Anyways, speaking about evolution, Trico finally evolved to Grove Out. And as soon as Trico evolved behind my house, a boss, a mini boss, Raticate spawned right behind my house. It took me like 20 attempts to beat this Raticate. It, I, I don't know why, I just couldn't beat it. It kept on, you know, killing me, kept on killing me, kept on killing me. Man, I was trying my best. It was just, it was just difficult. It, it was difficult. Around day 20, I thought it was finally time to go to the nether. Right behind my house, I set up the nether portal, and I headed to the nether. And I got the craziest spawn right next to another fortress. Also, I forgot that I played Pixelmon in version 1.12. The old textures, there's barely anything inside of it. But, you know, it's whatever. And, you know, the nether's the nether, so... Yeah, so I really didn't do much in the nether because, like, I, I didn't really know the purpose to be in here in the first place. So I just left it alone and decided to come back and I started to build a new house. I, I just didn't like the other ones, so here I am. Uh, you know, time for a montage. Whoop whoop. Swag.
Finally, the house is all done. Everything's done. Every it, it looks nice. I I I much rather this house than the other house I had before. The other house was like it was too generic. You know, it wasn't it wasn't cool or anything. And you know, I added a few more things. It just looks good now. The house. Um. So let's just you know move on with the video now with the new house. So around day 30, after I finished the house and everything, I caught myself a, a magic card because I wanted a Gyarados. You know, like a, a, a Gyarados is just a fucking cool thing. Like it's a fucking, it, it, it's a fish. It, it's a fucking fish, and it'd be swarming and worming on on the Kerman, right? So I wanted the Gyarados, and I got the Gyarados. And that's literally the only Pokemon I use for the, the for the rest of the game. That's a lie. But anyways, I went into the Nether, you know, because there's a bunch of fire types, and I leveled that motherfucker up. That motherfucker was huge, and he got huge level. He pack it for real. That's the that's the crazy thing that I'm talking about right now. You know what I mean? Another crazy thing that I'm talking about are these LED strips, the Aspel LED strips. Uh, I use them myself. They have a music mode where the the lights go to the music, a mic mode where your own voice goes to the lights, and a few other modes that are that are pretty cool. Even a timing mode. So if you use the link down below, you'll get 50% off off your Aspel LED strips. It's been 34 days since the last boss I fought, and, and finally, finally, there's another boss. And I actually had good drops this time, you know? Um, so Gyarados really did all the work. It was an electric type, and Gyarados really just smacked the crap out of this man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm joking. Gyarados got absolutely smacked. Um, it, it was Pupitar basically did all the work. It, it, it was clapping, you know? You know the Cocoon Pokemon? Uh, it's like the second evolution of the... You know, no one cares about that one anyways. So, yeah, he did all the work, um, and it, it, it brought some pretty good drops. Like, it got me a, a Mega Evolution Stone, and, you know, give me three options. The bracelet, the glasses, or the necklace. And I'm, I'm, not choosing the, I'm not choosing no jewelry. I'm choosing the glasses. I'm pimping out, you know? I got, I got my screeners, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, around this point, I could tell my team was actually getting stronger because I was dealing with bosses relatively easily. The harder ones were still difficult, but you know, bosses in general, I'm dealing them relatively easily. My Machop finally evolved to a Machoke, and it was just, it was just bliss, you know? It was just bliss, and I, I, I fought another boss, and I clapped the boss. Literally, it was the easiest thing. That I've, that I've had to do this entire game, you know, other than just fighting regular Pokemon, right? And and I just could tell my team was getting stronger. And, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, let me update you guys on the Pokemon that I have in my, you know, stick stack right now. Hello, hello, you see the, you see the fit? You see the fit? You know, Team Magma out here? Team Magma? Generation 3 the best? There's no doubt about it. My favorite generation is Generation 3. Uh, this is why, you know, this is why I'm rocking the, the Generation 3 fit, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so I, I just made some new armor. That's all I really wanted to say. It's the Magma. I just think it looks nice. Best generation. I got the boots on. You know, make me fast. You know. Ah. So, I forgot totally about this mechanic that you can actually ride your Pokemon. And, like, I finally figured it out. And I had a Macro in my PC that I totally forgot about and I could evolve to a, a, a Hong Crow or Hong, whatever, the, how the, how, however you, you know, say is their name. The way you evolve it is by giving it a Dusk Stone, right? You find the Dusk Stone and you, you use it on the, on the Murkrow and you evolve to Hunch Crow or Hunch, Hunch Crow, whatever. Yo, you know what I mean, man? You know what I'm talking about? Oh. So I was flying around with, you know, Hunch Crow or whatever. And I, I see a, 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 I don't even know what I see. It's like, it's a, it's a portal, it's a, it's a ripple in time. It's a, it's a whole thing, right? So the obvious response that I do is just to check it out, right? I don't even know where I'm at. I spawned next to a, a beast ball, but it gave me, it gave me some weird psychic, right? I was like, wow, I was really expecting to get a beast ball, man. But I see how it is, right? So I just fly around. Also, I have like, my gravity is all over the place for some reason. I'm, I'm bouncing and shit, right? So I'm flying around, seeing what's going on, and I can't see shit. Like it's it's red right in front of me. Like I literally can't see anything. So I I just I'm just I'm just flying and chilling around here. So I'm checking this place out for the past like I don't know for the past like for the past five minutes, and I and and I just I'm like man this shit is whack. What what am I doing here? So I'll, I leave. I did mine some endstone though. It's literally been about five days, and I've already replaced Hunch Crow. You know, I, I, I just, I just don't need a flying type. You know, 
So I just got Skarmory, which is, you know, a metal and flying type. But, you know, the metal is what's important, man. That's what's important. And I, I also think it's faster, too. So, and it's a higher level. So, you know, it just, it just works. It, it, it does the job. Anyways, I was flying around with Scar. And I just, I found this rock that I don't even know what it does. I also found another portal. I went through it. And there was a... Oh, uh, what is this called? The Ender Temple? An Ender City? An Ender City, right? And I went up the Shulker boxes with the Shulker people, and I fought them, I killed them, I didn't get anything out of them. For whatever reason, I decided to go back into the Nether, and, like, I got there, and I, I really didn't know what to do. So I just brought out Skarmory, sort of flying around, and I found another uh, Nether Fortress, right, that I landed at, and... I was looking for chests and stuff, and I got a chest. It was all right, loot, whatever. It doesn't even matter. And then for whatever reason, I decided to build a new nether portal, and I spawned in the middle of the ocean. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck I was expecting. I, I really don't understand. It, it was really sad flying back and everything, you know? Once I came back, I leveled up my Charmeleon into a Charizard, and Charizard is on a whole different level. Flying on this man is... Yo, you're literally speeding. It's 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 the craziest thing ever. It's a rocket. So dope. While I was flying around with Charizard, I found my first gym. I know it's been 80 days and I literally haven't seen a single gym. Crazy. And I've seen so many villages, but no gym. So anyways, this is my first gym and you know, <laughs> it was really easy. I, I thought it'd be a lot harder, but it was really easy to, to the, I finished the gym in like two seconds. I'm still on my way back home and I found uh, a spaceship I don't even know what this is but it's a gym right and apparently it's a psychic type gym but I thought I thought it was a spaceship type but you know I haven't been in the Pokemon game for for a while you know I, I played back in generation 3 generation 4 generation 5 and I stopped so I thought they added a spaceship type Pokemon so I was like oh shit, this is some crazy shit. but then I, I I got very disappointed after I beat the gym leader, I went back home and it was getting really close to the 100 days. So I started to panic and change some of the percentages in the game. The main ones I changed are the boss spawn ticks from 10,000 to 1,000. Boss spawn chance from 0.3 to 1. Legendary spawn ticks from 250,000 to 250. Legendary spawn chance from 0.3 to 60 60 percent crazy i don't even know what i was thinking like th this is what, what was i doing this is what it looks like with all the the legendary pokemon now i think that it's time for me to finally go to the end and i can finally face the dragon you know i didn't even think there was a dragon because what am i to expect there's there's a dragon in pixelmon that's not a pokemon makes no sense but anyways i decided to go to the end and see if we can kill the ender dragon okay let's get this let's let's kill the dragon it's not working Yo, do I have to really build up? Oh my god. Oh, you're so annoying. Okay, this should be one down right here once I get up here. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. Have, bro, get off me. Jesus. You're so annoying. Actually, I think I have an idea. If I use Charizard, I should be able to fly around and and just break them all, right? Okay, well, <laughs> that's not working. Oh, what the? <laughs> okay, I guess it does work. I just can't shoot, like, directly at Charizard. I gotta shoot, I gotta, I have to shoot more, you know, I gotta shoot above him. This one should be the last one. Okay, yeah. This is my chance. Okay, just, just hit him in the head and I got him. Easy. Oh, you're so done. You're so done. Where you going? Don't yo, bro! Stop being annoying. Let me kill you. There you go. Oh my god! This should be it here. You, you're you're definitely done. The Ender Dragon, no more. This is the, you're done. This is the game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.